Okay, this next section uh, <clears throat> is human resource management, uh, gaining a competitive advantage. Um, we are in learning objective 5.5, five, recruitment sources. So, start out, list the various sources from which job applicants can be drawn, the relative advantages and disadvantages, and the methods for evaluating them. The sources from which a company recruits potential employees are a critical aspect of its overall recruitment strategy. The type of person who is likely to respond to a job advertised on the internet may, different, may be different from the type of person who responds to an ad in the classified section of a local newspaper. In this section, we examine the different sources from which recruits can be drawn, highlighting the advantages and disadvantages of each. So we're going to look through um, seams and we're going to learn the different types of uh, uh, avenues HR can use to uh, draw the attention of potential applicants. You know, and it's interesting, you don't hear local newspaper as much um, date myself, but there was a time when the classified ad in the newspaper was what you did. Um, and then the internet, or I should say the interwebs as an old timer, kind of developed and uh, moved away. Um, you know, now it's actually even more so than the internet, it's social media. But our next section um, is internal versus external sources. We discussed internal versus external sources of recruits earlier in this chapter. I focused on the positive effects that internal recruiting can have on recruits' perception of job security. We discussed this issue again here, but with a focus of how using internal sources affects the kinds of people who are recruiting. In general, relying on internal sources offers a company several advantages. First, it generates a sample of applicants who are well known to the firm. Second, these applicants are relatively knowledgeable about the company's vacancies, which minimizes the possibility of inflated expectations about the job. Third, it is generally cheaper and easier to fill vacancies internally. Finally, inside hires often outperform outsiders, especially when it comes to fulfilling jobs at the top end of the hierarchy. With all these advantages, you might ask why any organization would ever employ external recruiting methods. There are several good reasons why organizations might decide to recruit externally. First, for entry-level positions and perhaps even for some specialized upper-level positions, there might not be any internal recruits from which to draw. Second, as we alluded to earlier, bringing in outsiders may expose the organization to new ideas or new ways of doing business. Using only internal recruitment can result in a workforce whose members all think alike and therefore, and who therefore may be poorly suited to innovation. Finally, recruiting from outside sources is a good way to strengthen one's own company and weaken one's competitors at the same time. In fact, having one's employees poached by another company can be so devastating that companies go to great lengths, perhaps even illegal or unethical lengths, to prevent this from happening. For example, some companies coerce employees who leave to file non-disclosure agreements that make it illegal for them to criticize the company or come back and poach former colleagues. And uh, that is something I saw um, actually a um, company I worked with had me file one. It's interesting. All right, the next section is direct applicants and referrals. Direct applicants are people who apply for a vacancy without prompting from the organization. Referrals are people who are prompted to apply by somebody from within the organization. These two sources of recruits share some characteristics that make them excellent sources from which to draw. First, many direct applicants are to some extent already sold on the organization. Most of them have done some homework and concluded that there's enough fit between themselves and the vacancy to warrant them their submitting an application. This process is called self-selection. A form of aided self-selection occurs with referrals. Many job seekers look to friends, relatives, and acquaintances to help find employment. And evoking these social networks can greatly aid the job search process for both the job seeker and the organization. Current employees who are knowledgeable of both the vacancy and the person they're referring to do their homework and conclude that there's a fit between the person and the vacancy. They then sell the person on the job. As the competing through environmental, social, and governance practices box shows, this can sometimes 
create sustainability problems. Still, in terms of motivating employee referrals, generally, employees receive 250 for entry-level positions to more than 25,000 for top executives, with the most common bonus falling between 1,000 and 2,500. Okay, um, they have a kind of like a story uh, competing through environmental, social, and government practices, defending the country, a family business. Um, it's interesting. It goes into army recruiting and um, how they can't pro compete with the private sector, so they rely on uh, different techniques to recruit. Uh, sense of pride and um, serving one's country, duty. Hmm. All right, the next section is electronic recruiting. There are many ways to employ the internet and social media to recruit employees, and increasingly organizations are refining their use of this medium. Obviously, one of the easiest ways to get into e recruiting is to simply use the organization's own website to solicit applications. By using their own website, organizations can highly tune their recruitment message and focus on specific people. For example, the interactive nature of this medium allows individuals to fill out surveys that describe what they are looking for and what they have to offer their organization. These surveys can be graded immediately, and recruits can be given direct feedback about how well they are matched for their organization. The value of steering recruits to company website is so high that many employers will have to pay their sites uh, will have to pay will pay to have their sites reach the top of the list in particular search engines when certain terms are sent in. All right, I'm crossing my words a lot. To me, that's a sign to take a break. Go grab myself a little bit. It's too late for coffee, but I definitely have my uh, uh, Rubus tea. Uh, it's a de delicious tea from uh, South Africa that I like. And my... Uh, Sister-in-law, bless her heart, sent some back for me. But we will recruit, uh, return and we will finish uh, electronic recruiting. Or we will start, yeah, I guess now we'll finish it and then we will move on to public and private employment agencies.